In this video, we're going to be replacing the struts in the 7th Gen Civic in the rear. It is literally bottomed out and the struts are so bad that it is on the ground. So we're going to make it look a lot better as well as ride better. Welcome back to another episode of JDM for all we are working on the 7th gen 2002 Civic today We're going to be replacing the rear struts as you can see it is squatting really bad and it needs a lift So we are going to replace the struts make it look a lot better and try to even out the height on this thing it Has lowering springs, but the struts on the back have just given out It's literally sitting down as far as it can on the back. So we're going to replace them and uh get this thing looking brand new again. Okay, so the bad struts are out and these things are bad. Check out the bushings on this thing. That is so bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the lowering spring back onto the new assembly. Um, and one thing that I wanted to show you guys, a little trick that we like to do, my brothers and I, is throw the stock strut with the stock spring back on the car or if it's already on the car if you're lowering the car or whatever you want to loosen up the strut and the spring on the car with the wheel down and the car on the ground and that way when you lift it back up and the and the spring is loose it doesn't go crazy and fly somewhere or hurt someone and uh, that's one way one little hack that you can do to take the springs off without a spring compressor so one thing about throwing the stock struts back in that's kind of a pain is you got to get all of this to uh, line up and everything, which is a big hassle. We had to take off the upper control arm and uh, get all of this lined up. But after it's all lined up, now we're going to throw the wheel back on, loosen up that strut, get the spring loose, and then we will decompress it by lifting the car back up, take it back off, and uh, we'll be good to go put it all back together and we'll be done on the side. Okay, so we just jacked it up. It's all loose. All we have to do now is loosen up the bolts on the top in the strut tower and uh, loosen up the strut at the bottom and then take this out, replace the spring and put it back in. All right, so now the spring is off and the strut is off. We're gonna throw the new spring on and put it all back together. Check this out, guys. Look at this thing. This thing is bad. Yeah, like, don't even come back up. Yeah, this is going back to the garbage. Look at that. <laughs> this is going to the garbage. Okay, so now that everything is put back together, we are bolting up the bolt down there on the lower control arm, then the upper right here, and then we're going to do the bolts on the top, tighten all that up, and we're done. And that's what it looks like after replacing the rear strut sits exactly how it should and how it was when we first lowered it. Pretty sure those lowering springs just killed off the last uh, bit of life in the back struts, but it is looking so much better. Can't wait to see it all complete. And this is after just jacking it up and dropping it, so the front might lower just a little bit as well and settle just a bit. And if you guys wanna see more seventh gen content, make sure to subscribe because we are planning on wrapping this seventh gen Civic in SI Blue. And here's the second brand new strut with the spring removed and the Skunk 2 lowering spring installed, ready to go in. And if you guys were wondering where we picked these up at, we got them at O'Reilly's for $147 each, and the name is Quick Struts. that 
we are completely done. It looks so much better. Actually looks like it's about even, which is perfect. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button if you guys like 7th Gen content. It helps me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next video.